Yeah, Sky for Business Interoperability, finally. Let me show you how it works. This is my client application, uh, which is uh, registered on our local server, and it is uh, located in our VPN, uh, where Sky for Business uh, server is also located. So uh, it is required uh, to call uh, Sky for Business endpoints and users to create a special account for TrueCon server on Sky for Business site. Uh, please refer to documentation to learn more about this. Uh, in our documentation, just a moment, uh, we have written a special, uh, yeah, special section which cover in details the process of Sky for Business integration. So it tells you how to set up this user, etc. Once you set up uh, this user, uh, it is possible to reach Sky for Business uh, users from TrueConf client application. So I have Sky for Business endpoint here. Mm -hmm. uh, and all I have to do uh, is to uh, call uh, call Sky for Business user over C protocol. In our system, to call over C protocol, I have to enter hash, SIP, and colon. And after the colon, I have to specify the username uh, of Sky for Business user I'd like to reach. Uh, my Sky for Business client is uh, notificated under username user8. So let me call him user8. Uh, I will copy to my notebook uh, what I'm calling. So this is the address. Okay, let's scroll a little bit. So I will call this user. And after that, I will receive the call in my corner. I'm sorry for Russian localization for Skype for Business Client, but I don't think it will create any problem for you. So uh, you can see that uh, the quality of video is uh, pretty nice. It actually scales from 360p to 720p, depending on network conditions. Uh, and, and it is possible to do a lot of funny things using this Sky for Business integration. So let me show you. Uh, I will drop this call uh, and uh, will and show you how to call back. So I know that user nine is actually a special user uh, under which the Trucon server is connected, is registered on on Sky for Business server. Uh, I will uh, write down this for you, just a moment. So user 9 is actually is actually a TrueCon server. This is for your reference. So I will open a chat with user 9 and we'll try to call him. And the call will be immediately terminated. You see that the call is terminated because uh, it is not possible to call TrueCon server user uh, because it is a gateway. Uh, and we didn't tell the gateway, uh, the default destination uh, for when someone call it, it is uh, when default destination is not set, nobody will be called. So the, the call was dropped. But instead, uh, the gateway sent me uh, a text message which cover all commands it supports. You can see that it has special commands like call. I will duplicate them here to make them bigger. Call, conf, invite, podium, and remove. It, this commands allows you to control the conference uh, on the TrueCon server. Okay, so what I want to do is to call my user uh, back uh, from uh, Skype for Business. Uh, to call back, I have to tell TrueCon server user, which is user nine, a special command, which will sound like call L-Y-A-K-U-P-O-V. This is my ID in our system. And I have to not call. I don't need to press here. I have to send the message. And our server will call me back. Okay, I'm, I'm accept the invitation. And it also calls my client, the server calls my client application. And when I reply, the gateway connect us together. Yeah, uh, the resolution will scale a little bit. Let's make, uh, yep, here we are. Uh, so we are connected. Not very straightforward, uh, but it is possible. Uh, so 
if you'd like to call through confusers from sky for business you have to deal with this special account which you create during integration if you'd like to call sky for business users uh, from uh, our application all you have to do is to create uh, contacts in your address book so, well, let's say user 8 and sky for business user 8 account okay yeah, it is already in my address book. So where it is, yeah, here it is. So uh, I can call Sky for Business user by double clicking uh, this uh, address book entry. So this is pretty simple. So from TrueConf side, it is easy to call. From Sky for Business side, you have to send special commands. So what about multi-point conferences? Again, this is pretty simple. So uh, let me show you in both directions. So uh, we can create conference on uh, TrueConf server side. For that, uh, I will send a special command conf and specify my ID and specify IDs of my colleagues, Alina and Arsen. This is the command. I will duplicate it here. So uh, I separate IDs of users I'd like to uh, I'd like to invite into the conference by commas. Uh, and after that, I have to send that message. It's pretty simple. I accept invitation myself. I accept invitation uh, on TrueConf client application. And we have to wait for other users to accept the invitation as well. So you see that uh, we are connected uh, in the conference together with Arsene. Arsene. For example, we have three people in the conference and I'd like to uh, invite someone else. I have a special command like invite. And after that, I have to send uh, the message to the server and it will send invitation for Alina to join this conference. Hi, Alina. Okay, I, I will scale a little bit the video. Uh, I have switched to the full screen. Yeah, the video have scaled. So now you can see uh, four of us in the same conference. Okay, let's return to the normal view. Uh, so we mixed transcode uh, the layout for Skype for Business conferences. So it is possible to invite into the same conference uh, different endpoints, uh, SIP and free to free endpoints, um, by means of these commands. Or we can do the same stuff from TrueConf application. Let me show you that as well. So I dropped this call for everyone. Thank you guys. Yeah. Four stars. That's just, that sounds good. Take my feedback, Microsoft. Uh, from TrueConf client application side, I basically have to do the same stuff. I create a conference. Uh, I'm in the conference. After that, I have to uh, find um, people. Okay, Alina, Arsene, and Sky for Business endpoint. So we have created the conference. Uh, by, um, by means of our address book, by means of TrueConf client application. Uh, and the conference is mixed for Skype for Business user as well. So you can invite Skype for Business users into your regular conferences, basically by double clicking them in your address book. This is very nice. Okay, let's drop this call. Thank you guys. And the last but not least, uh, most important case uh, for Sky for Business integration is to connect uh, Sky for Business users with your room equipment. So uh, I have in, my, in our local network, we have pretty old Tanberg endpoint, which we will use a little bit later for PTZ camera control as well. Uh, but it is possible to call from Sky for Business uh, to that old Tanberg uh by means of TrueConf gateway so to do that i use the same command call and after uh, the space i have to enter uh, the call string the call string which are absolutely the same you will use in TrueConf client application so in our case it will be uh, hash hash free to free colon uh, at the ip address in our local network for the Thunberg endpoint so i send the message uh, 
uh, our gateway will invite me and invite the Tanberg into the conference. So just a moment. Tanberg is a little bit slow. Yeah. Uh, ooh, we have some UDP issues. You see the uh, pixels. <laughs> Hello, Arsene. <laughs> well, uh, the connection from your uh, endpoint is not really good. Uh, but anyway, we are connected. Uh, we have connected Skype for business user to free to free equipment by means of a simple command. I think we have some connectivity issues. That's why the video stream is a little bit corrupted. Okay, so this this was pretty simple. We can do the same stuff into the during during multipoint conference, and we can do uh, the same stuff from TrueConf client application as well. I will end this call. We have covered the following things. I will return to the slides. So uh, we can call from TrueConf application to Skype for Business applications. We can call from Skype for Business applications back to TrueConf client applications. We can uh, combine different protocols uh, on TrueConf gateway uh, by means of special chat commands in Skype for Business interface or by means of any TrueConf client applications you prefer to use. Thank <laughs> you.